Okay, um, we're running out of time, Mr. Opposition Leader, but I need I need yeah. you to address this very very important matter of your statement as yeah. regards um, Mr. Um, Joachim Henry. Joachim Henry. Sorry. Yes. Yes. So let me ask you a question, Andre, because I always like to make sure that we're on the same page. What is it that I said about Joachim Henry that you and maybe other people find very offensive? Well, um, I don't want to misquote you, but if I remember, my memory serves me correctly, I think you said that um, we all know now that no, Mr. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay. That's why I said, that's why I, said I, don't, I don't want to misquote yeah. you, but so you, you said... The tape says mm -hmm. it is believed that he had a gun. Now, is that an accurate statement? I will, I, will go look for, I, will, I will go look for the... Um, for the statement, but I'm listening to you in the meantime. I, I, and I think, I, think, I think it's a very, very important point. And the reason why I said it was believed, okay, is that in the tape, Joaquin Henry is, is, is heard saying, where is Guy Joseph? I'm going to kill Guy Joseph. He is also in, in possession of a firearm license. And as a firearm uh, license holder, you're supposed to be in possession or know where your gun is 24 hours a day. And it, it was curious that immediately after the uh, event that took place in, in, the, in Guy Joseph Church. So remember, Turkey left his home and deliberately went to Guy Joseph um, Church to um, threaten him. Okay. I have immediately this, after, sorry, wait, sorry, immediately, sorry, I mean, sorry to disturb you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have, the, I have the, the recording. Let me just play it for you, okay? No problem. Sure. Mr. Henry went to a church, and we right now believe with a gun, with the intention of killing Guy Joseph. Did you hear that? Sorry. You, did you hear the statement? You said he went. He went to a church service. You said. You said he went to a church service with the intention of killing. That's what you said. I'm sorry. What did you? I missed. What, you, what did you say? Continue to play the tape. Well, no, I'm just taking the, the, the most important That's element here. Is that part of the I statement, Mr. Opposition Leader? Believe that he had a gun. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I, I'm going to play it again. Listen. I'm just saying. Seditious statements. So, when Mr. Henry went to a church and we right now believe with a gun with the intention of killing Guy Joseph. Okay, so... We believe with a gun. So what I'm telling you is correct. So we said, I said that we believe with a gun. Yeah, but you said with the intention. That's what you said, okay, with the intention. Yes, with the intention, because in the church, he's on tape, he said he's going to kill Guy Joseph. So if in fact it was that he had a gun, and what? the reality is, well, why well, does the Mr. gun Mr. come Mr. up? Wait, wait, wait we, we don't have, wait we don't have. Mm. Wait a second, Andre. Why does the gun come up to play? Because immediately after the event, all of a sudden, unexplainably, and we've never found out what the truth was, that the gun was sent to Philip Pierre. Philip Pierre then gave the gun to Claudius Francis, who then gave the gun to the commissioner of police. So, did he have a firearm license? Did he have the gun with him when he went in that day? We don't know. There are pictures that suggest that he had a gun. And if he did have a gun and he was threatening him at the time and saying, I'm going to kill Guy Joseph. Now, all I'm saying, Andre, is if we're going to speak about sedition and we're going to be equitable here, look at the number of things that had transpired where people had threatened me. I didn't respond. I allowed the authorities to respond. And at the end of the day, if we're going to call a spade a spade, let's call all spades spades. Now, the gentleman that I, I understand apologized um, for what his statements were. Did I hear Joachim Henry apologize? I heard Philip Pierre come on your show and apologize for Joachim. I never heard Joachim apologize. I, I, where is where the same outcry that a, that a person who was running for higher office that would behave in that way. What about the situation with Miguel Frivian, where he would come on and threaten the man? Where's the outcry? Yeah. 
Now, now, Mr. Opposition Leader, I agree with you, but the point is that does that now give you a sort of justification, if you will, to make that statement? Because um, what's the, state, what's the statement that... Uh, explain to me, explain to me what you think is wrong with the statement. If I make the statement, I said it is believed that he had a gun. And the fact is, is that there was a gun involved because that same day, the gun was sent through the, uh, the, uh, the, the leader of the opposition then. To okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the statement I'm gonna play the statement one more time, Mr. Opposition Leader. Okay, one more time. Seditious statements. So, when Mr. Henry went to a church, and we right now believe with a gun, with the intention we of killing guys. Yeah. Yeah, but you said with the intention of killing Guy Joseph. That's what you said. No. So, so, are you, so are you standing? Are you, are you standing by um, those statements, um, Mr. Opposition Leader? Are you standing by those statements? I'm standing by those statements. All Mr. right. Paul. Okay. 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 Uh, we have to end. I'm sorry, Mr. Opposition Leader, but no, um, no, but I would certainly, I would certainly, Mr. Paul, at some point, like to come on your show. That'd be my also pleasure. To re respond to the issues with regards to the the, the, the economy. That would be my pleasure, and you can we we can talk about that off air. No problem. Okay, my Thank pleasure. You. Take care of yourself. All right. Um. Yeah. That was the leader of the opposition, Alan Chasney. I'm standing by his um statement concerning this issue of um, um this gun issue and Mr. Mr. Henry. But anyway.